Hello guys, welcome once again. Till now in this Qt GUI C++ uh, tutorial, I have shown you how to make this login page and whenever you enter your username and ID, it's connected to the SQLite database and when you press login, it opens the second form. And in this second form also, we check if this connection is uh, open or not with the SQLite database. In this video, I will show you how to save data into the database using your Qt C++ GUI application. So let's get started. But before starting, I uh, want to let you know that uh, in the last video, I have made some code for uh, opening and closing connection with the SQLite database. So uh, my code in this video will also be will also be dependent on the same code. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and watch that video so you would be having better understanding of this code which I am uh, showing you right now. So first of all, what I have done is I have taken these labels and these line edits from uh, my widgets. So this is the line edit I have taken here. So I have taken four line edit, just drag and drop like this. I will delete it because I don't need it. So just I have taken four line edits and four labels and I have renamed these labels as EID, which is employee ID, surname, name and age. Okay, so these are my four uh, labels and four uh, line edits. And I have taken one push button form from my widget which is from here so just drag and drop it here and uh, I renamed my line edits as text EID text surname text name here you can see it and text age so just rename these so that you know which text box you are working with once you are uh, done with that just click your save button right click it and just click go to slot and press clicked and press ok and we reach to the code for button click event for save right and in the last video i have shown you how to make the connection with sqlite database and this second form so that's why I was telling you that you uh, should sh see that last video because I have uh, made this connection open in that video. Okay. So now we have uh, this push button click event to make this code uh, uh, code run faster or to make this uh, video uh, shorter I will just copy and paste uh, the code from my login page so here is my login CPP or I can go to login.ui here and in the last videos in this series I have shown you when you click right click this button and go to slots and click OK this code I have shown you in the last videos to uh, check whether username and, uh, and the password is there in the database or not. So I will just copy the same code and I will edit this code little bit in order to save time. Okay. So I have just copied this and I will go to my employee info.cpp and paste it here. And in the last video, I have also made this uh, con open function which is there in the login class. So in this push button click event, I will just make uh, the object once again for login. So I'll write login con. Once again, I'm creating a new object with login class 
and this login because this function is in the login class this con open function so i will just call it by my object so con dot con open if uh, my database is open then i will uh, just show the message that if it if my database is not open that then i will just show the message that database is not open and otherwise what i will do is i will open the connection and i will prepare my query right and in here in the login uh, code i have defined username and password but in this code i will define four string variables which is eid second will be my, the name third will be surname and fourth will be age because i want to save uh, these four things in the database let me show you the database also so i have this database sklite database this also i think i have shown you in the last videos so i have uh, the database called employee info and in this i have different columns and i want to save the data to these four columns employee id name surname and age and i will not fill anything there in the username and password and pay so i will use these four columns to write the data okay let's come to our code once again and in here we will uh, transfer uh, the data from our line edits which which are uh, i have sh already shown you here these are the line edits and these are the names text eid first line edit so go to your employee.info.cpp so e sorry not here but i will write eid ui and the line edit name and then arrow pointer text in the same way name here and then i will write text underscore name and then text and i will just copy this once again paste it here third is surname and fourth is age so i will just replace this text box names also from here so now it's done now it's very important to uh, in order to save the data in the database we should prepare a query so to save the data in the database we need to write a query i will just delete the query which i have written for the login page i will just start from the blank and here i will write insert into your database name which is employee info let let's check this is employee info the name of the table so insert into employee info and uh, the column name in which you want to insert insert the data which are eid name comma surname comma age so these four i have taken the name of these columns eid name surname and age these are the same name as in the database right and then i will write values and then i will pass the values respectively according to the column which i have written here so first column i want to insert the value of employee id so what i will do is in this bracket i will give first of all two single brackets and then two double 
these are not bracket but single quote and double quote and then plus plus and inside this plus plus or between this plus plus I will pass my EID string from here okay like this same thing I will do for rest of the three name surname and age so just let me copy this first this is for name comma surname comma age so here I will replace uh, these value and copy this string variable name in which I am transferring the line edit data or text box data okay surname here and age this is my age so my query is like this insert into your table name my table name is employee info and then in the bracket just give the column names in my case employee id name surname and age then write values and then in the bracket i am passing these values which i am getting from my line edit or my text box in the string variable and if this query executes let me just delete all the things from here and just I am uh, remaining with this if condition so if my query execute then I want to show the message that uh, my data is saved so let me show this message in the message box so what I can do is I will go up and I will include include Q message box and then I can give the message box or I can show the message in the message box right now I will go in this if condition and I will uh, give the message box code like this this uh, code if you don't know I have shown this code uh, in the video number four so you can go and watch that video if you don't know how to show message in the message box so you I'm just writing message box and then these double colons and you can change this message type in this case this is critical and this is the title of the message you want to give so I will give it the title save and I will show the message as my data is saved okay with a capital S right okay so if my query execute then I will show this message but if my query doesn't execute so if this query is okay then it's all good and fine else I want to show some error message right or uh, the fault which is coming so what I can do is in this else condition I can show the message or the last error so you can write message box colon colon critical and in the bracket give the argument this comma tr and you can give the message uh, error and you can show that error right so this is query which is my uh, this query variable QSQL query variable I will just copy it and paste it here dot last error dot text okay so this will show the error one more thing uh, I have uh, told you in the last video that if you are opening the connection with the SQLite database you need to close it also before uh, performing any other action so I have opened the connection this here this should be uh, this object of uh, login which because my connection open function is in 
uh, login class dot connection open so I open the connection here and if my query is successfully executed I should close the connection so I will just copy this object from login class dot close connection here it should come close let's see what was uh, the code there so in this login dot edge I have defined the con close class so I will just copy this function go to employee info dot cpp and dot con close class right so I'm closing the uh, connection with the database when I my query is successfully executed right so let's try and run the program and see if any error exists or our code runs successfully so I will build my code first save all and my code is successful and I will give my username and password and login which is correct and my second form is also connected with the database let me see what I have in the database I have employee ID till employee ID 8 already registered so I want to give employee ID 9 so I will give here 9 and then I want to give the surname whatever surname you want to give and the name and the age okay I have given four things and now I click this save button and you can see here my data is saved because it's showing me saved message okay and in order to see your data here you need to refresh your database so just go to your database and click show all and you can see here a new data is there which I have provided from here you can check it employee ID 9 surname is Mac here name is Max and age is 23 you can do it once more employee ID 10 and name is what can be a name this is the surname so mm, there is a surname and there is a name and the age 45 for example and I click save and my data is saved because I'm seeing the message saved okay and once again I will go to my database I will click show all and employee ID 10 and his data is also there in the database so in this way you can write a code to save your data from your QT GUI application to your SQLite database I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time. In the next video, I will show you how to edit your data in the database using your Qt application. So stay tuned and please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.